Alright, welcome back. <laughs> Alright. God. Okay. okay. We just did the Anger Scotsman Impulse IPA. This is their batch one. Uh, it was um, pretty roasty and malty and coffee-esque and something you'd have to have, honestly, with some like pulled pork and some yeah, sweet sauce. you got to eat food with it. You yeah. have to. Okay. Yeah, now we're going to do the Stone Cloud Brewing Company's Fun Puss. Fun Puss. It's like gangrene that you have relations with. Let's try again. Stone Cloud Brewing Company. Fun Bus. Double New England IPA. Hopefully you didn't hear that. I'm done. <laughs> Fucking done! Get over here. <laughs> Alright. Let's drink this so I can contact my lawyer. <laughs> I need to put a restraining order on a guy named Ross. He's a big Scottish guy, about six foot three, wears a kilt, and his balls hang into his knees. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is, that is murky yellow. Swirl. Dunk. I don't know the percentage on this. Don't know anything about it, really. I didn't ever look it up. And it's. Um, I'm on it. It's their um, universal cans that they kind of just put their own little sticker on. Uh, fun bus? Yep. Which I like the whole sticker idea. I just wish you would put the sticker on every single can because I had to keep everything separate because I didn't want to go reach for a fun bus and get a nice can of Forest Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's a uh, 8% alcohol, 35 IBU. Uh, we went big in our inaugural East Coast IPA, starting with a base of our favorite Wisconsin malt. We layered a mountain of golden naked oats, flaked oats, and flaked wheat. We paired the ultra-fluffy malt profile with a triple dry hop dosing. Will you fucking stop? <laughs> dosing a mosaic, Amarillo, and Eldorado. Tropical fruits and orange peel dominate this beautiful brew, complemented with a beautiful malty sweetness. This one is hard to stop drinking. I will be the fucking judge of that. <laughs> yeah, that's zesty. It smells like Vienna that's... sausages because you got Vienna molds, right? Why? I Why? I'm about to put this in my body and you're making gross-ass sausage jokes. You can put sausage in your body all you want, buddy. Oh my fucking God. This is not what we're talking about. Fuck off, Steven. God. Okay, so... <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Oh, wow, that dies out real quick. What? Like, you get that sharp hit of flavor in the bin, and then it's just like... <laughs> and just gone. <laughs> Sorry, Stone Cloud, but fuck. It's like when you let go of one of those balloons. <laughs> yeah, no, like, as soon as it touches your tongue, it's just gone. It's just like it evaporates. It sticks with you for a few minutes. Seconds, whatever one. Yeah, seconds. Start to say seconds. <laughs> like, it's there. Like, I can remember what it tastes like, but it's just... It'll get you drunk. It'll get you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see that um, uh, Dave Chappelle episode, you know, Sam Adams beer? It was called Samuel Jackson beer. Like, it'll get you drunk. You'll be fucking fat bitches in no time. You might even fight a or two. <laughs> Gotta keep it, gotta keep it, you know. Gotta keep it PG. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Christ. Don't need BLM beat down my door. Okay. Here's my thing again. It's like, they go into this big old thing about, oh hey, we've got orange peels and certain hops we put in it and all this shit. And it's just like, alright, tell me what it's gonna taste like. It's gonna taste like zesty oranges. This does not taste like zesty oranges. Don't fucking come knocking at my door being like, this is gonna taste like fucking orange and no it's not. It's not. This I'm getting kind of a bitter orange rind and then it just goes to like a slight lemon without the sour. I guess. And then it goes to malt. And you're left with sweetness. <laughs> it's a train ride none of us wanna be on. 
I mean, it's okay. A lot of people, you know, gave it the hype and everything else. I don't know what I paid for it. I mean, I think I paid, like, for the four-pack of this and the six-pack of the Baltic Porter was, like, 23. Okay. So, comparing this to the uh, Angry Scotsman we just did, that was, like, heavy IPA. you got to eat food with it. It's hella important. This one, I could see just drinking. It's fine. Yeah. You're on a beach. Just fucking drink. Nobody's going to stop you. It's 8%, so, I mean... Yeah, I mean... It'll get you drunk. It'll get you fucked up. You might even rape a cousin or two. Mm -hmm. you, you might get shoulder deep in a midget. <laughs> flap, midget, flap. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll donate money to Midget Association. Midget awareness. <laughs> midget awareness. <laughs> I mean, you gotta think they're like down to here. You're not gonna ever be aware of them. Just a fucking knee him in the face. Down to here, down to here. <laughs> Walking along and just ball slap the midget. Boom, whoops. Oh, sorry. My bad. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> God, you're tiny. <laughs> they need to put some more money in your midget awareness fund. <laughs> like, we need to get the same person who does the AC, whatever the fucking animal one is, where it sings in the hearts of angels or whatever. <laughs> it's just midgets. That just McLaughlin getting... woman? Yeah, just midgets getting ball slapped in the face. <laughs> Every day a midget gets ball slapped in the face by some gigantic motherfucker. <laughs> Please donate 25 cents to the Midget Awareness Fund. Because <laughs> they're getting pecker slapped real bad, guys. <laughs> this just shows them like lying on the ground going, with like a ball imprint on their forehead. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Jesus. You ever notice they all look alike? Okay, no, we're not. No, Steven, no. This is a real okay Shut the fuck up. I will leave. I will walk home. God damn. It's like, you know, backwards. So, like, this beer it is okay. It's all right. Um, the flavor is starting to stick with you. I, okay, sure. What other Stone Cloud have we had? We've had, I mean, you've had a lot, but I don't know how much I've had. But I think, like, it's a pretty steady flavor. They're pretty well known for what they yeah. got. There's uh, been a couple that were flukes, but I think the biggest fluke of them all was um, the Saddle Tramp or something. And it was like a $15 crowler, and I was not excited. <laughs> I was not aroused. Well, I didn't pay for it. Jesse did, so he's the one who dumped his $15 Sorry, crowler. Sorry, Jesse. He's the one that dumped that $15 crowler out, not me. Jesus. No, it's a... Uh... It's not bad. It's not. I mean, if I had to choose gun to my head, somebody was like, you can either have a... Full on alcohol, a Bud Light, or this. I'd pick this, I guess. If you've ever had magic, I mean, magic juice, I think, might be about the same price. Yes, magic juice is so good. I think it's, but I mean, I mean, I don't know how often John's making magic juice, so. John, give us some of your delicious magic juice. <laughs> then I'll take you on a fun bus. <laughs> Then we get smacked by midgets. <laughs> Midget awareness is real! Don't defile my cause! <laughs> oh, fucking no. Um, it's not bad. It's good. I like it. I don't got much more to say about it, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, I'm not thoroughly impressed. I'm not thoroughly not unimpressed. I'm very... I'm very middle ground today. I got one less. I'm, I'm probably gonna French press it with something. What the hell would you French press it with? You can't go wrong with coconut vanilla. I mean, who the fuck am I a judge? I might get a midget and put a ball in it. Stop! <laughs> Be aware of the midgets! Um, alright, so like you know, I said earlier, you're kind of getting a little, a little bit of pineapple, like orange rind. It's not too sweet. It's a little bitter, a little, little, little dry on the tongue. The sweetness is actually pretty good. But the flavor just kind of, yeah. it, it like, it might last for on, 
on average, maybe five seconds. Like, you don't need to nurse this. You can throw it. Just do it. Just throw it yeah. back. For 8%, pretty good. Um, I'm not going to name other beers I'd rather have besides this, but this is... <laughs> I'm not going to name other things I like <laughs> other than this. Um, it's 8%, so that's good for it. It is, yeah. Like, it's good. How much did you say a uh, four-pack I don't know. I got a four-pack of this and a six-pack of the... Forest Brothers Baltic Porter for like 23, 24 bucks. That's not terrible. Let's just say they're yeah. both like 20, they're $12 a piece. $12 for a six pack. That's not terrible. I mean, it's it's 8%. So, yeah. it'll get you drunk. We'll get you fucked up. You'll be, you'll be dick slacking midgets. And- <laughs> you'll be going to Walmart and dick slapping midgets in the face in the toy aisle. Oh, wait, those are children. You're going to jail. <laughs> If you're in China, do as so many people do. Come on, guys. <laughs> Alright, I'll spin. Okay, um, I'm gonna give it a four. four? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna give it a four. I'll give it, you know, I'll give it that many. Why not? That seems like a good number. Eight. Yeah, I gave it an eight. It's not bad. It's not terrible. It's We're not... just kind of just bullshitting. The, the, the only issue is the flavor kind of like yeah, that's my only thing. It's like, it's not bad. Like, it tastes like other things I've given an 8 before, but it's just your flavor just drops off real quick. That might be the hops you chose. That might be how old it is. It could be anything. It may be out of your control, or maybe it is in your control, and you just really want to upset me. You cannot go wrong with mosaic. Or, or bourbon or whatever else, but just put some mosaic in it, fuck. It'll last longer. It's like a little yeah, vibe. fuck it. Just... Little bagger, just. What was he? Fucking millennials.